Welcome to Daps Magic Live. I'm Mr. Daps, and tonight I am joined by Katie as we walk, walk, watch another movie that Katie's never seen. That's really what this is all about, I think. Um, tonight we are going to watch what, Katie? Apple Dumpling Gang Rides Again. Rides Again. I think it's funny because during this period of Disney history, I think it's late 70s, if I had to make a guess, 79. 79. There we go. Um, there's a lot of like Rides Again movies. Mm -hmm. Like it's like, like Herbie rides Herbie again. Rides, yeah. yeah. But in or returns, I feel like that's another one that was big during that time. But uh, welcome. We hope you have fun tonight watching this. So now is the time you want to open up your Disney Plus and open it to the Apple Dumpling Gang Rides Again picture. And if it's what we see, um, we see Don Knotts and Tim Conway um, looking like they're in jail. Mm -hmm. It does look like they're in jail. With a bent bar. So maybe they're out of jail, but it kind of looks like they're still in jail. I don't know. Because there's other people in jail. That is true. We don't know. So anyway, how are you guys doing tonight? But we're going to find out. Yeah, we are. Yes. Um, yeah, let us know if you are ready to watch this in the comments, and then we'll do a countdown, and we will start it together. Um, I think this is, it's it's worth, uh, good evening, Caleb. <clears throat> Hello. It's worth, should we read the um, the description for this? Yeah. Yeah, we should. There's more trouble afoot, as the Apple Dumpling Gang can't stop causing trouble and laughs, even when they give up their life of crime. First, the Ditsy Duo is accused of bank robbery as they try to deposit a check. Hmm. Then they join the U.S. Calvary, only to wind up in the stockade after an explosive mishap. The witless team, who could never shoot straight, can't seem to succeed in going straight. Wow. Bailey is ready. <laughs> so I think this is interesting because at the end of the last movie, it seemed like the apple dumpling gang was the entire family, including the two. And now it looks like we're just back to those two. Back to, yeah. Which they're my favorite two in the movie anyway. So I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'll be very interested. I'm curious to see. I know I've seen this and I actually, I was telling you earlier that this one, if I recall, was the one I liked better of the two as a kid. Mm -hmm. But who knows? I mean, that was a while ago. Um, well, because as a kid, you were like, I don't care about marriage. I don't care about family. I just wanted the laughs. I want to see Don Knotts and Tim Conway. Yeah, basically. I mean, what's changed? I still like Don Knotts and Tim Conway. <laughs> I know. Um, all right. So let us know. I see Bailey's ready. Caleb, if you are ready, anybody else ready, let us know in the chat. We will get started in just a minute. And um, the thing I'm also curious about with this, is it going to be one of those things where it's a slow burner for the first three quarters of the film and then the last 25, 30 minutes? It's only it an hour and like, a half, so. Okay, so the last 20 minutes, it suddenly goes, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> it takes may. off. Like the, the, like the Good Shaggy evening, VA. Josh. Glad you could join us. Hello. Welcome to our stream. So while they're getting uh, ready for this this movie, Caleb is ready. We will tell this story and then we'll get the, the movie started. How did this start, Katie? <clears throat> Dab's watch. Oh, Dab's watch. Um, I was like, how did what start? Well, you got a remote and you turned the TV on and then you opened up Disney Plus. I was confused for a second. Yes. Um, Dab's watch 2020. Once upon a time. Began about this time last year. Yeah. Because I've obviously never seen a whole lot of movies. Mm -hmm. It specifically started with Hunchback of Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I hadn't seen it. And so all of us on. No, or it made. I wasn't even. With, I wasn't part of this. You were not because you were working. Yep. I got laid off for six weeks. So I was kicking it. Um, or furloughed for six weeks. Anyway. Uh, I think it may have started with Robin Hood where I watched it by myself and then somebody said, oh, we should all watch a movie together. Yep. So we picked like <clears throat> 11 a.m. to watch Hunchback of Notre Dame and we all had like a group watch party um, on Twitter where we just live tweeted and I'm sure we confused everybody else that was on Twitter. Um, but we had a lot of good fun and then it just turned into this because it's easier to, you know, react in real time. Well, and actually, now that you mention it, going back before that, we already have a bit of a history of live tweeting movies when we yeah. review them for Daps. Um, so, yeah. Uh, 
Oh, Bailey says it was Hunchback first and then Robin Hood. Oh, okay. I could not remember. Um, I do see every time, though, when I scroll back to last year, I have that photo because I watched Robin Hood in my room and Hamilton got up on the um, mm -hmm. end of my bed and he put his paws and he watched Robin Hood like this. That is very cute. Um, I think cats like hand-drawn animation. That's very possible. All right. Well, I think we are ready to watch the show. So hopefully you all have the Apple Dumpling Gang rides again open on Disney Plus and we will count down from five and then hit play. So let's do this in five, four, three, two, one, play. That's the most stressful part for every movie. It's like, is this going to work? Does it like me? It is interesting. The logo for Buena Vista distribution was slightly different. Mm -hmm. This kind of reminds me of Blazing Saddles. Everything reminds you of Blazing Saddles. No, but this one actually does. And it makes me wonder if they were trying to... That poor mule. Actually, all three of them, none of them are having a good time right now, I don't feel like. Tim Matheson, why do I know that name? I don't know. Oh, we're only... Oh, we've got Harry Morgan back, though. We're only about 60 seconds in the movie. We've already pulled out IMDb. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah, they're really having a bad time on that mule. Have you ever ridden a mule or of attempted to? I haven't ridden a mule. Just asking. Let us know in the chat if you have ridden a mule. Anybody besides me? Of course you've ridden a mule. I shouldn't be surprised. Yeah, Camp Magruder in Oregon. <laughs> Fascinating. Yeah. Uh -oh, oh, something's that on look fire. Good. That's dramatic. That was quite the uh, scene change. Mm -hmm. This looks like a setup to me. That's what it is. Thank you, Bailey. West Wing. Tim Matheson. Vice President Hoynes, right? I love that he's a different character in this. The last movie, he was the... Um, like the sheriff slash justice of the peace slash. Mm -hmm. Well, they shaved him and now it's fine. Oh, he's in a bunch of old war movies too. I feel like he's very comfortable in the uh, military command, mm -hmm. whatever. Oh, that's what it's about? Hmm. This is where I feel like we almost need Doug watching with us, because I really want to know. I'm like, is this? Oh, that was funny. I don't think I was supposed to see this. If you looked between the druggist and the next house over, mm -hmm. you could see electric wires in the mm -hmm. background. <laughs> Why do they have guns again? This is just a bad...
<laughs> also, yes. Last week, mm-hmm. I read this since we watched the movie, and I felt like I should say it. Okay. We did the math of um, the price of the gold and how it would be $2 million in today's money. But you would also have to translate the worth of gold to today. So yes, what it was worth in the movie would be $2 million today. But with the price of gold and everything, what they found in the last movie would be $9 million today. That explains a lot. Yes. I mean, $2 million also explained it, but. But then it got even better. Precisely. The dog thinks he's helping. Mm -hmm. I think that's Tim Mathis in there. I don't know for sure. Sounds like him. That is him. That's, that's, wow. I think it's funny that he's got his vest tucked into his suit pants. Wasn't he in the last one, too? He was the banker. You could be. Oh, Oh, this is cool. Oh, wait, no. He's in a Columbo episode. He's um, he runs a vineyard, but he's also the bad guy. Oh no. <laughs> wow. That was but I like your hat. You want a top hat so bad. I want the real top hats though, or like the Victorian top hats, not the, this kind. At least it wasn't their donkey this time. True. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, I really am curious where they filmed this. 
Oh. Why did he do these hands? Because he's about to punch them, I bet. Oh. 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 Those are really long. Yeah. Pistols. That hair flip was ridiculous. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, and he does. So he's basically uh, Gaston. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm really curious. Oh, look at his shoes. They're bright yellow. Oh, bright yellow shoes, huh? Yeah. Oh. That's great. Uh oh, <laughs> it actually broke the. I wonder if that was intentional. Oh no. There we go. Good call. Oh no. Mm hmm. No. Yeah, you can see where this is going. Yeah. 
Huh. Oh, that was good. All right, so he's... Oh, gross. Oh, it's her. Oh my, she's uh... Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Good one. Why is he picking him up that way? I don't know. Mm hmm. Wow. Yeah. I wonder if she's in any other movies. I think Bailey's right. She's very excited for. Her. Oh, no.
That's not good. Mm -mm. This is like exactly when you know they're going to get caught. Yeah. Hmm. Oh no. This can't be good. And you always have to ask the question is like, how did they get the rope up there in the first place? Mm -hmm. This seems like a very bad idea. I love that old westerns like this always have a muddy main street. Mm hmm. Oh, no. Yes. Hmm. It looks like it was the Disney studio for the town. Hmm. It was filmed in Sonora, California, Canab, Utah, and at the Disney studio in Burbank. Oh, no. I see where this is going. I think Wooly Bell's about to get hit. Yeah, that's what you would think, huh? They might fall off, too. Oh no. Oh no. Holy shnikes. The circus music. Mm hmm. Oh no. Oh. His hands seem to have recovered quickly. Uh huh. Oh no. Oh, this is good. Oh wow. That was really good. <laughs> wow, that's a neck brace. <laughs> it's exactly how Robin Hood stole the money from Prince John, but in reverse. Yeah, basically. That's good, Bailey. We're going to believe in this man. Oh, 
Uh oh. Uh -oh. This can't be good. No. What is going on? I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. For what? Car cases. Why two weeks? I don't know. It seems like that's longer than it should be. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, I see what's happening now. Oh, my. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor Clarice. So lonely. The real star of the movie. True. Oh no. This is in Utah, I think. Of course.
Whoa. <laughs> so he's drafting them mm-hmm. so like we said i'm gonna go take you to another mm-hmm. place and explain it to you and then just explains it right then and there true who's that Oh, that's the guy. Why are they raking? I don't know. Was he a spy or what? He sure doesn't seem like a private. They were raking to smooth out the ground and move the small rocks out of the way. Good call. That is what Bailey said. Good call. I'm like, I don't know anything. Hmm. And he just stole the arrows. Probably a bad thing. seems huh
Wow. Oh, no. So they're desperate for... <laughs> well, oh, oh. oh, probably a bad thing. Engagement, of course. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure this will go well. There's no way this turns out well. Country. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh, he's in Herbie Rides again. The sergeant. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Nice. <gasps> I didn't see that. Oh before. no. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh. That's a problem. I feel like there's something important behind that, but maybe not. Oh, it's just the table. Mm -hmm. Oh no. That looked like it hurt. 
Oh no. Oh, that's not good. That's not even. Hmm. Oh no. <gasps> oh. No. Oh, this is not good. Hmm. The vegetable peeler was invented in 1947. Hmm. So there's no way they could have been using a vegetable peeler. Basically. I think it was just a knife or something. Or they didn't realize. <gasps> oh no. This is bad. It's almost like a cartoon. Like well, a Bugs Bunny cartoon. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my oh that's cool the marshal was king triton and little mermaid oh wow i don't think he's gonna live very long i don't know why marshal wow Oh. Um. No, this is bad. So you have to wonder, did they literally burn down an entire fort just for this movie? Just go left. You're fine. Oh. Minor issues. Mm hmm. They messed up their hats. <laughs> that was the issue at hand, yes.
<laughs> wow. It was such a nice fort. It was. Like, I was like, oh, we should go find it someday. Oh, the blizzard of 68. As long as it's a cute dysentery. Oh my. Oh no. Of course. Wow. That's a look. <laughs> oh, that wasn't good. I love the guys just watching in the background. <laughs> A lot of trouble. Can he still pull a trigger? That's my question. With everything else he's been able to do, I wouldn't be surprised. True. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, 
it's funny because I don't recognize him. Like I do recognize him, but his face is more round than he is in West Wing. Uh huh. But I do recognize his voice. This is a pretty area. Why not just steal the horses and go? Oh my god, Captain America? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd they put them back in uniforms? I don't know. And clearly those medicine balls aren't huge or heavy. So you're crazy now. We got it. Yep. Oh.
feel like he had a blast with that role. Oh, definitely. Yeah, you're right, Bailey. It is two people who hate each other falling in love while two idiots make everything happen. I don't get her. I don't either. I'm like, what is what is she going to do? Like, I feel like she's about to do something, but she's not. Also, they've introduced so many characters in this movie. Mm hmm. Always the prison storyline. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. <laughs> I don't get why he's lifting his glasses. I don't know either.
Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> At McDonald's. Not us both saying, oh no. This isn't going to end well. <sighs> it never does. We have like a half hour left of the movie. That means it's going to pick up. It's going to get faster. <laughs> oh. Oh, so Prince Charming is the bad guy. Him. So this was before MASH. He was in MASH? Or no, because the last one was right before he started MASH. Yeah. So this is during. Oh no. <laughs> of course. Oh no. Of course. Oh, oh no. of course. Oh my gosh. I think this live stream has just been a series of us saying, oh no. Yeah, this is like, they keep crashing. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, he's in um, Support Your Local Sheriff. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, oh now, now this makes the, uh, sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Pound for pound. <laughs> of course it is. Thank you, Bailey. Yes, Geeks Corner is Tuesdays at 9.30 Pacific time right here. That's smart. go. Oh, it has to be. See, I think it's that lieutenant. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Does make you want to go horseback riding now? Mm. I don't know about that. I'm scared of horses. Oh. I did have a friend in high school though who was a competitive equestrian. That's pretty cool. Yeah. He's thinking on a plan. <laughs> well, you don't have it by noon. <laughs> okay, good, good. This is not. Oh, was that the sheriff? <laughs> oh no. Well, this looks a lot like Junction City to me. Just a little bit. Different angle, maybe. Oh, no. Of course it is. Are they going to do a song and dance number? Sure seems like it. It sure looks like it, too. Yeah.
That was convenient. They all met at the door right at noon. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, they are, Bailey. Um... They're dressing in drag and doing the hula. Kind of. Oh, no. Everybody they're afraid of. <laughs> oh my not where I expected this movie to go. Nope. <laughs> I kind of like Mac. Yeah. Like he's kind of funny. A four. Yikes. Don't shoot the donkey. Well, mule. Oh. He's terrifying looking. Yeah. Oh, no. Yes. My goodness. <laughs> That's talent to act that well with a mule. Yes. And of course, the big question is what train did they use for this? wonder who they are. <laughs> no, they're robbing the a plan? train. Yeah. How did they not know this? I mean, I get it, but. Sierra Railroad. Wait.
Hmm. Is she just always in the wrong place? Apparently. Oh. We have approximately 10 minutes left of this movie. How is it going to end? Spy. Told you. There you go. Feels so like pride and prejudice. I love how they make it look like walking on top of a train is like easy. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure they leased the train from the Sierra Railroad, oh, wow. which looks like it might be outside of, of Sacramento or something. Sounds like we need to go to Sacramento and look at a train. Called it. Yes, you did. I have fixed, like, if this was not a Disney movie, I'd expect him to get shot. Yeah. Here we go. Of course. Uh oh. I feel like if this was any other company besides Disney, they would have like the okay. They would have like more age appropriate music. Like it wouldn't be classical. It'd be yeah. <clears throat> uh oh! Don't fall off the train, buddy. Just kick him. <gasps> or push him. That works too. You see, he gets to go in the water.
Hmm. So now I'm surprised there wasn't a Cultural, warning in front yeah. of us. Do you suppose that not enough people watch this for them to care? I don't know. Because a lot of the movies that do have warnings are more big names. No, The Ugly Dachshund had one. Sure. But that's a more, I feel like people know that one more. <clears throat> <laughs> uh oh. I feel like they're with the corp or the captain or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it is funny for usually how ridiculous Don Knotts is. He really is the straight man. Yeah. And I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like there's not a lot of time left, so it's going to be. Oh, God. This is so bad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, he gets his Barney Fife moment. I wonder if he has a single bullet. Hmm. And we're back to the start. I'll say back. Yes. <laughs> 
service there was. Wait, so they're going back? Oh. Oh. Huh. What a throwaway in the last line. So basically, they retconned the fact that they went on an adventure by themselves. Yes. Huh. What do you think? Um, I don't. This movie was stressful. <laughs> <laughs> it was stressful. Okay. Yeah, like things, bad things just kept happening. Um. I have a hair on me. Buddy, buddy Baker. Did the music again, so that's good. I liked it. Better or worse than the first one? Mm, I think I like the first one better. Okay. I feel like this one was made because they're like, oh, Tim Conway and Don Otts are funny together. Let's do another thing with them. And they couldn't get any of the other cast except for um, <laughs> the major, whatever his face is. Yes. Which I'm assuming he got to keep his post because the other guy was a traitor. But it's cute. I hope so. I hope he got to keep. I don't know what we're going to watch next now, though, because we finished the... Well, what? All right. Here are the things that we are seeing in the suggested. The Castaway Cowboy, mm -hmm. which I've never heard of. Uh, Tall Tale. Mm -hmm. I can't read what it says. Uh, Herbie. We can't do that one first, though, because that's like the second or third one. Well, yeah. The story of Robin it's Hood. Herbie goes to Monte Carlo. Oh, I'm sorry. Back. I couldn't read that. Yeah. Um, the story of Robin Hood. The story Hood. of Robin Hood. Mm -hmm. Which I think might actually be a 20th century film that they've made Disney. I could be wrong. Uh, the Sign of Zorro. Mm -hmm. And two different Swiss Family Robinson. One from 20th century mm -hmm. and one from Disney. Yep. Disney one's good. I, it's... It, it has some moments that are cringy too, though. Well, you kind of expect that. It is interesting, though, because yes, they're cringy, but you think of the movies made today and they're cringy in a completely different way. Like, I feel like every generation has cringy moments and we just keep evolving to the next level of cringe. <laughs> Am I wrong? Keep evolving to the next level. Of well, it's because like these, we learn what's not okay, and then as we move forward, we we venture into new eras of not okay, and then we have to move on to the next level. I guess. Like it'll be interesting in like 20, 30 years, looking at the movies. Maybe even like um, all of the Marvel MCU movies right now. Like maybe there will be things that they're just like, oh, I can't believe they did that. I don't well, know. I don't. Probably not, but. I don't know. Because they might not have thought that, what, 40 years ago? 45 years ago? 42 years ago? I don't know. I just think that's the the interesting thing about growth, is realizing this is where they were. Oh, totally. This is where we are. And when we get up here, we're going to be like, I can't believe we were doing that. I don't know what it, that is, but it was more just this thought of, like, I'm sure, because it's Disney, and they're being family friendly. Nobody making this film was like, I can't believe we're offending all these people. I don't know. Because there was actually some really, like this one should have had, I feel like in. I would prefer if they did put something on here. Mm -hmm. um, just I... because it's a product of its time. Yeah. It's, it's not okay. I think it's just as bad as the ugly dachshund. Like, it's just yeah. as, as offensive. Yeah. And, yeah, it's interesting. It's, I, I'm just curious how they, because I feel like it's a fairly well-known film. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it was good. It was cute. It was a good movie. I liked it. I feel like this one moved forward a little bit quicker than the last one. Like, the last one kind of had ups and downs, and this one just kept going, going, going. Yeah. So I liked that, but. Yeah, we could always go through all the Herbie movies next, too. What did everyone think about that? I don't know. 
let us know in the comments. I see uh, Adventures of Bullwhip Griffin being thrown out also by Bailey, which could be fun. I would like you to know, Bailey, I made it through the entire movie without bringing up Blackbeard's ghost. Granted, there was nothing in here even remotely close to like being like Blackbeard's ghost, so that could be it too. I feel like when you have Dean Jones in a movie, that's what usually brings it up. That's fair. Which, if we do watch Herbie, you might hear about Blackbeard's ghost. I don't know. Anyway, you've got a week to throw ideas at us. We usually, unless there's a sequel or something happening, we usually pick these on the weekend. Mm -hmm. Quite often, like Sunday at like, I don't know, two o'clock. <laughs> We're like, hey, what are we watching today? I don't know. Yeah. All right. Usually. So we hope you have enjoyed this uh, DAPS watch with us. I was like, what do we call these things? And uh, we hope you will join us again next week for the next DAPS watch. And also join us on Tuesday night at 930 for Geeks Corner. And then later in the week, we'll also have Disney Reporter. And every day you've got Disney this day with Egon. Anything else we got going? I think that's it. So anyway, you have a absolutely fantastic week and uh, we will be talking about a touch of disney on geeks corner this week so don't miss that but uh hopefully we will see you in the parks real soon bye